Hello everyone, welcome to part three in our series of videos about the new release of Save the Cat. I'm Bob McFarland, the software developer on the Save the Cat team, and I'll be walking you through the changes that are specific to the pro level version of Save the Cat. We'll be using the new focused layout for this video. Now I've opened a brand new series project and I've selected the series tab. As a brief introduction, in a series project, you can have one or more groupings of movies or novels, or if you're working on a TV series, you can have as many seasons as you like. Here in the new focus layout, you can see the entire series laid out before you. When you start a project, it starts you out with one group or season and one novel, movie, or episode in that season. Let's say we're working on a series of movies made up of three sets of trilogies. First, let's add a couple more movies to our first group. All you have to do is change the number of stories over here. I'll change it to three and tab out of the box. And click yes, because that's what I want to do. And we have our three movies. All right, let's add another grouping for our next trilogy. I'll click the Movie Series button on the toolbar, then click Add New Story Group. I'll click Yes, and we have our second grouping. I'll go ahead and add two more movies. Now our third grouping. And two more movies. And there we go. Since this is our new focus layout, you can click this little V button over here and hide each grouping so you can focus on one at a time if you like. Click it again to expand the group. You can also change the title for a grouping right here. And give it a description if you like. Each story or movie in a group is effectively a project of its own with its own beat sheet, board, and so on. Click the keyboard icon to open a movie in its own window like this. You can now change the title and work on the story for this movie. I'll go ahead and give it a title. And I'll just pull in a logline template so I can show you something. Normally, I would use this template to develop my logline for this movie. For now, I'm just going to close the window. Notice the title and logline has changed for the first movie. Since this is the focus view, you can work on your loglines right here, keeping each movie in mind as you work on the others. Let's say that after working on the individual movies, you decide they would work better in a different order. No problem. Just drag them around to change the order, like this. If you decide that one of your movies doesn't really fit anymore, you can delete it by dragging it to the trash can. And it's gone. And I mean gone for good, so make sure you really want to do that. I'm going to jump into the Characters tab so I can show you one of the new features in this release. If you've watched the first video that talks about the new focus layout, this should look familiar. I'm just going to quickly add a couple of characters then jump into one of the movies. We now have two main characters in the series. Ok, back to the Series tab, and I'll open our first movie. And go to the Characters tab. You can see that we have a section for Series characters, and a section for characters that are only in this movie. I'll add a character that will only appear in our first movie. Now if I close this movie, and open our second movie and go to the Characters tab, we see our series characters again, but Willie is not there. He only appears in our first movie. I'll go ahead and add a character for this movie. Now maybe after the first movie, Sally is so popular, we decide to keep her around for other movies. Just drag her into the series section like this. She's now been promoted and is making a lot more money. Congratulations, Sally! On the other hand, the audience has hated Bob, so we're going to kill him off in this movie. And just like that, Bob is fired from the series. Now, everything I just demonstrated also applies to locations, things, relationships, setups, payoffs, notes, and attachments. So I won't repeat it for those sections. Ok, one more thing to look at. Let's go to the series board. The series board is where you can track a character arc or other important elements across the entire series. The board is divided into rows, one for each group or season, and each row is divided into columns, one for each story or episode in that group. So if you want to track a character through the series, just double click on the board and select Plot Character Stories. If you want to track an episode character, be sure to double click in that episode, like this. You can see the series characters at the top and the characters in this episode at the bottom. In either case, just drag the character to the board like this. 
voila. And of course, the same thing applies to locations, things, relationships, setups, and payoffs. Well, those are the new features that apply specifically to the pro level of Save the Cat. Be sure to watch the other videos in the series to learn about all the new functionality in this release. If you have any questions, please contact me at tech at And thanks for watching.